Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an analog clock with LEDs having 5 minutes resolution without microcontrollers. So let's get started. For this, we need 1 Hz clock frequency generator and I have already explained about this circuit in other video, link in the description below. Now its positive pin is connected to plus 5 volt, its negative pin is connected to the ground. Output of this circuit is connected to pin number 14 of IC4017. Its pin number 16 is connected to the plus 5 volt. Pin number 8, 13 and 15, these three are connected to the ground. Pin number 11 of this IC is connected to pin number 14 of next 4017. Its pin number 16 is connected to the plus 5 volt. Pin number 8, 13 and 15, these three are connected to the ground. Pin number 11 of this IC is connected to the pin number 14 of next 4017. Pin number 16 is connected to the plus 5 volt. Pin number 15 and 7, these two are connected together. And pin number 8 and 13, these two are connected to the ground. Pin number 4 of this IC is connected to the pin number 14 of first 4017 through a push to one switch. Also the pin number 14 of first IC is connected to a 56 kilo ohm resistor and then this resistor is connected to a base of a transistor. Its collector is connected to the plus 5 volt and emitter is connected to a 220 ohms resistor and then it is connected to an LED and the negative pin of the LED connected to the ground. This LED will show the second pulse. Now this pin number 4 is connected to next part of this circuit and in this point we will get 1 Hz frequency and in this point we will get 1 by 300 Hz. It is designed to get 1 by 300 Hz because 5 minutes is equal to 300 seconds. Now in the next part we need two pieces of 7492 IC. Its pin number 14 is connected to pin number 4 of third 4017 that is we have discussed in previous part. So this will be connected to pin number 4. Okay. Pin number 6, 7 and 10 these three are connected to the ground. Pin number 5 is connected to plus 5 volt and for this also now it's pin number 1 and 12 these two are connected together now we need two pieces of another IC it's pin number 23 is connected to pin number 1 and 12 22 is connected to pin number 11 21 is connected to pin number 9 20 is connected to pin number 8 and here also it is same connection now pin number 14 of second 7492 IC is connected to pin number 8 of first 7492. Okay. Now these two ICs are 74154. Its pin number 24 is connected to plus 5 volt and pin number 12, 18 and 19 these three are connected to the ground. For this also. Now here we have to connect the LEDs. The pin order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14 and 15. Okay. And first LED is connected to pin number 1. The negative pin of the LED is connected to the pins. So like this we have to connect the 12 LEDs per IC. And positive pin of all the LEDs are connected together and then it is connected to the plus 5 volt. These LEDs will show the minute's hand and this LED will show hour's hand. Now to make this we need a board like this. It is 10 inch by 12 inch. Now we have to make some dots. Before that we need to find the angle. As total is 360 degree. As we need 12 lines so 360 divided by 12 is 30. So these all are divided by 30 degrees. Okay. 
Now per line we will add 7 LEDs. 3 LEDs for hours hand and 4 LEDs for minutes hand. Now according to the dots we have to create holes. As we are going to use 5 mm LED so we have to make 5 mm holes. Okay so this is how I have created holes on this. Now for this circuit we need 74154 demultiplexer IC 4017 decad counter 7492 divided by 12 counter BC548 transistor green LED white LEDs and for second pulse it is blue LED I have taken PCB like this and this is the one second pulse generator circuit and any kind of regulated 5 volt power supply and I have already explained about this circuit in other video link in the description below now in the PCB we will place just like this ok now to place 1 second pulse generator circuit we need mail header ok so that we can place it like this All the ICs are soldered, positives and negatives are connected together. This is the internal connection of this circuit. Now these three will be hours hand and these four will be minutes hand and we have to put LEDs in this. Ok LEDs are placed and I bent all the negative pins of the LED so that we can solder the positive pins easily. For the connection I will use this kind of copper wires. So positives are connected and green negatives and white negatives are connected. as this one is first digit so this negative that is minutes negative will be connected to pin number 1 of first 74154 and this one is for hours hand so this negative should be connected to pin number 1 of second 74154 ok and like this we will connect all of them so guys this is how I have soldered all the connections and these two are for the switch and these two are for second hands that is the blue LED now I am putting the one second pulse generator circuit and now we have to check it so this is the positive and this is the negative ok the clock is working this is the 5 volt power supply circuit and I leave this circuit for powering the clock here it is negative and the positive and we will connect here now I will place this circuit in this area and the main circuit I will place it here ok your clock is ready now I will supply 220 volt Now the time is 6.20 and if you want to change the time then press the switch it will change by 5 minutes. Now the time is 12.10 after a few seconds it will change to 12.15. So guys it is verified 
So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.